if you're in calculus right now and your teacher's giving you trigonometry in integrals and you can only do it by hand you should thank the stars above you because doing trig is so easy all you gotta do is just know the formulas for the antiderivatives or to know the formulas for your derivatives and then just work backwards either way doesn't matter whenever given trig by hand you'll usually be using your formulas like for example we've got the integral from pi over 4 to pi of secant squared theta d theta now I gotta find a function that when you take the derivative of it you get secant squared theta or in other words the antiderivative of secant squared theta turns out it's tan theta because the derivative of tan theta is secant squared theta. Pure memorization. And we'll plug in our b, the pi, then we'll do subtraction, we'll plug in the pi over 4, and that's by the fundamental theorem of the calculus part 2. So let's do that right now. We've got tangent of pi minus tangent of pi over 4. And because tangent sine over cosine, we've got sine pi over cosine pi. Sine of pi is zero, cosine of pi is negative one. Zero over negative one gives us zero. Minus tangent of pi over four is one because sine of pi over four is root two over two and cosine of pi over four is root two over two and root two over two over root two over two is one. So zero minus one is equal to negative 1. And that is the answer for this particular problem. I'll do one more. Once again, we'll just use our trigonometric formulas from derivatives. Here we've got the integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 of cosecant squared t dt. Now we got to find the antiderivative of cosecant squared. Well, I know that if you take the derivative d over dt, of cotangent t, this is equal to negative cosecant squared t. Now I don't have a negative here. However, if I put a negative in front of the cotangent t, things might work out. Let's try. The derivative of negative cotangent t is equal to negative negative cosecant squared t, which is positive cosecant squared t. So, the antiderivative of cosecant squared t is indeed negative cotangent t. So, we've got negative cotangent t from pi over 4 to pi over 2. Now, whenever I plug in my b and my a using the fundamental theorem of the calculus part 2, I don't like having constants in front of my function, so I'm going to take that constant out just to make everything a little bit easier in terms of arithmetic. So let's plug in that pi over 2. We've got cotangent of pi over 2 minus cotangent of pi over 4. Now let's figure out what cotangent of pi over 2 is. We've got negative in front. Cotangent is cosine over sine cosine of pi over 2 over sine of pi over 2 or cosine of pi over 2 is 0 and 0 over anything is 0 so this is just 0 minus cotangent of pi over 4 well that's again root 2 over 2 over root 2 over 2 and that's 1 so the answer is negative negative 1 which is positive 1 trig very easy with integrals by hand just memorize your formulas and you'll be fine.